You're good. You're representing, ain't you? There we go. So me and Emma are going to put together another deer feeder here right quick. We got a big one right here. This is a uh, 45 gallon. Boy, we had a snake in the box. Look at that snake skin. 45, 45 gallon. Oh yeah. I never had one like this. All the ones I ever used have been moultries. But this one's bigger. We're about to put this joker together. Got to read instructions. I hate reading instructions, Emma. Well, I love reading oh, instructions. Good yee-haw, buddy. All right, let me grab some stuff here. So we got this far. We can't put the legs on it because the legs are sitting over there in the woods on the ground. God, I left them laying over there. Because I was going to take this thing and actually just throw it together real quick. In the evening, when I opened that box, I saw right quick like that was not going to happen. It was going to take a little bit more effort. So I just brought it home, left the legs laying over on the ground and brought it home. Do it here. We can go ahead and do the. We can do the motor. We can put the motor together. There's what we can do on it now. That's about as far as we can go without having the legs all. Uh, I'll have to run over and grab the legs like quick, fresh, crazy thing. Get them. Yup, yup. This ain't no biggie. Oh, good. And that's the seal for the lid. And the lid sitting right over there is where the lid is. I get we can go ahead and throw the lid on there. Let's see, seal, seal strip. Uh, no, I'll wait on that because we got to put them bowling legs actually protrude up into it a little bit right there. So I'll wait on that. That's about as far as we can go right now, there, buddy. We'll have to go get them legs for us. What we'll have to do. Nope. How you do? Good enough. Alright, me and Emma are in the Jeep. <laughs> We're going on an adventure. Right, Emma? Alright. We're going to get the uh, legs to that feeder right quick, so what we're after doing. So, we may, we may be stuck here in just a second. I don't know. I got a winch though on this one here. So, we're on the gravel now behind the first gate <laughs> this is probably fixing to get interesting when we go through the second gate up here <laughs> we're gonna take y'all along though maybe maybe we'll have to use the winch or anything we'll see we're getting a little closer once we go down this hill here we got a little, little narrow culvert to cross <laughs> this one is gonna get interesting we Cut a little bit of timber over here. I hope there's nothing laying in the road where I can drive all the way in there. That's what I'm hoping. This road, this hill right here is kind of washed a little bit. It ain't nothing to it for the Jeep. Right, Emma? Right. Okay. All right. Here's our first little obstacle right here. I hope this ain't washed where we can get. No, we can get through there. It's a deep ditch. We just got a little, it's a little, little narrow culvert right here. It's all a little bitty cord, I mean. We in the woods now, Emma. Mm -hmm. We got a little, little bridge up here. Hang on, I'll be right back. All right, here. This little sketchy right here, you know. Gosh, <laughs> just a little bit. I'm telling you, you're on that one while I'm looking. This is another little creek that runs. Let's see. What do we need? Yeah, I don't know. Let me get out and make sure I'm lined up on this thing. Good. Yes. Sir. Let's see. I need to get over a little bit. Just 
barely on it on that one right there. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna put the camera down while I slide off this thing. We got some more obstacles here right quick. This is where we cut. We cut some wood over here, and this is some of the remnants of all that junk. Never did get around to cleaning this spot of this road out right here after we got it done. We just run out of time. Ran out of time. You know what this looks like right here. We are almost there. I think the rest of this road here is pretty clean. Moving down through here. I think the legs are sitting right over here on the right, I believe. This old field here planted it, but the leaves just about smothered it out. Let's see. Let me go with this thing. Get around. I think the legs are right over there on the right end, right there by those trees, I think. Oh, we'll pull it right here. Get out my light and see. Mission accomplished, Emma. <laughs> Let me get this nice side, you know. All right. So now we got to get back out of here, okay? All right. <laughs> I think Emma's wondering what in the heck. All right. Man, let's, this is normal. Normal? Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's see if we can get out of here. The woods. Here we woods. All right, we've made the little wooden bridge. <laughs> uh, well, thing a lot narrower in this Jeep than it is on the tractor. Seems like it in the end. Now we got this little cart to uh, go across right here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Hitch drug a little bit going down across. Thing we all do, remember? Yeah. Okay. Shoot. Man. Hey, gummy. Well, that thing's deep right there, too, huh? Can we hear that hitch hit back there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, let's go up the hill now. Uh, let's see. I got this Jeep new in April of 2011. And that's all it's got on it right there is 41,000 miles. I geocached out of it, riding around and stuff like that. Went to, been to Dallas in it, been to Atlanta a bunch of times in it. That's where most of the miles came from on it, but I don't know that I'm going to have this Jeep much more longer. I may uh, get rid of it and do something else. We will see. Is it? Future goes here. This is one of my green fields right here. Look back by it. See the feeder over there. All right. So mission accomplished. Now we got to do is get out of these gates and get them shut back, and we'll be good to go. Yep. So this is a couple of days later. Emma and I are back at it. We got the legs, got them in. We're making progress, ain't we, dog? All right. You can use that bolt over there and stick it in that one. I'll run this one down here right quick. So me and Emma got her done, didn't we, bud? <laughs> There's the varmint guard that goes on it. I actually, I like this feeder. This is not a feeder that you're going to put together real quick, though. Out in the woods with a screwdriver or nothing. The way they got this thing done is they got, there's three legs. There are three sections to each leg, and you got two bolts in each one of them. And you got the feet down there, and then you got the chains to keep the feet from spreading out, because this thing holds 45 gallons of corn. I think it's, uh, forget how much weight it is. It's a good bit of weight, though. I forget what it. You told me 250. Yeah, no, nah, it ain't gonna be 450. I can't remember. Oh, 300 pounds of corn is what it holds. 300 pounds of corn. 
But that's a big feeder, 45 gallons. Uh, it's got a very aggressive spinner on it. I mean, I, I put the battery in it a while ago and I put it on a test and made it run. Uh, that thing don't play right there. I mean, it's, that thing's serious business, but it's a heavy feeder too. You're not gonna move this one empty by yourself. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. So, and it's got a rubber seal right there on the top to kind of, even though that lid's uh, lipped over, over an inch all the way around it. And it's got a good latch over here too. This one wasn't, I think I caught this thing on sale for like 170 bucks. I think the nice Maltry's a 130 bucks or 139. It wasn't that bad, but this is uh, Academy Sports, uh, their brand, game, game winner, right there. So I believe it's gonna uh, work pretty good. We gotta set it up now. Me and Emma's gonna set it up and get some corn in it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna have it where I kinda keep an eye on it there a little bit, that's what I'm gonna do. <sighs> so we got her done, Emma. We're not going to show y'all putting it up. We ain't going to show y'all putting it up because I don't want nobody to know where this one's going to be. So, nobody. Nobody. And I'll put a camera on it too. Kind of watch it. So, if you like my stuff, please subscribe. You can check out my Amazon store, Cotton Top 3 Amazon store down below. You can click it or you can go to my website and buy some Cotton Top 3 stuff. See, she's got on Cotton Top 3 stuff, too. We both spoil on Cotton Top 3 stuff, so. We'll catch y'all later. Whoa, what's up, Emma? Lighter, tighter. There we go.